is accused of being a deadbeat dad. You know, he owes over a million dollars in child support. Now, as he was leaving pending criminal charges, he said, I love my team and I love my children. And the other problem is this, though. Not only does he owe all that money in child support, but he also failed a drug test. Now, they're saying that he, there was some weed and some coke in his system. The judge allowed him to post bail, but the condition is that he has to submit to random drug testing. Congratulations, Stevie J. Round of applause, Stevie Why J. is that a congratulations? Because you're going to run the car off the road, run it all the way off the oh, road. stop it. He's in trouble right now, man. <laughs> Crash and burn yeah. it, man. So I guess all the rumors are true about him doing coke and all of that stuff. So Well, at least happen. it's an excuse for his behavior. I, I'm glad to know that's not normal. I think we knew that, though. <laughs> All right, Justin Bieber has his neighbors mad already. He's renting two units in Beverly Hills in a condo building. He got the penthouse unit, and he got the unit on the floor below. They're not connected, but they're just two different places because, you know, he has a lot of friends that come stay over. So the problem is, of course, the people that live in the building are already complaining. There's excessive noise. There's the smell of marijuana all over the place. Neighbors said there was a rager that went on until 4 a.m. last week, and they're saying that he has all these parties and he has bombs and a bar on his deck and all of that. And that's not what they're paying for. That's you know, what I don't yeah. understand about Justin Bieber. Right? What's that? He got enough money to not have no neighbors. You're right. He can go build him an estate off somewhere I mean, in the he had that nowhere. whole mansion in Calabasas. But he had neighbors. But he had neighbors in that. He yeah, can go but, somewhere where he has no neighbors. Yeah, absolutely right. What's wrong with this guy? But everything out there was so spread out. It's not like the neighbors were right there. You would nah, think, were, you, well, you, be a, it's just, I think, around the community, riding on the segways and all of they that. They were close enough to where he could run to their house next door and egg him and run back to his crib real fast. No, you're absolutely right, because he shouldn't be in any place where he has any neighbors anytime soon. So Nobody. He, he should move in the middle of nowhere? Yes. I'm at the top floor. No neighbors. Remember, remember Shorty Low? Yeah. Nobody remember Shorty Low? I just me. Remember oh. Shorty Low. Shout out to Shorty Low. All right. The Aaliyah biopic. The problem is not just that it's going to be on Lifetime and the family wants it to be a major motion picture. The problem is also the fact that it is going to detail and focus on the illegal marriage and relationship between Aaliyah and R. Kelly. Now, people are upset about it. And they said, allegedly, that that's going to be treated with the utmost respect. They said, Aaliyah's personal and professional relationship with R. Kelly will be explored with care in the film. As we set out to depict her life with the utmost respect, above all else, it's our hope to inspire an entirely new generation with her music and larger-than-life talents. I mean, Aaliyah's not going to look crazy in that situation. She's going to come out clean. If anybody come out looking crazy, it's uh, Robert Kelly. Well, I think the family has always tried to just kind of not bring that up. It's never been confirmed that she was married to R. Kelly or what exactly their relationship was. I don't think it's anything they want to even mm. probably address or bring up or have. They shouldn't. Don't address the masked elephant in the room, huh? No. Oh, okay. All right, and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right,